A common question we receive about EasyStamp is how to track multiple collections in the database. Another how-to question customers ask is how to split the chore of inventorying an extensive collection that they have inherited and due to sheer size the inventory is assigned to different members of the family to inventory. When they are all done, their respective portions, they need to combine all the inventory into one file. This is easily accomplished in EasyStamp and this video will demonstrate the simple process. Today we will work with the Germany database which I have open, but it will work with any of the supplied database. Let's begin by inventorying a partial collection of Germany's from say Scott number 1000 to 1100. We can do this via the rapid entry uh, method and I'll show you how. So we go to edit, rapid entry. And I've already pre-filled the 1,000 to 2, uh, 1,100. And we're only going to do the main numbers. So we find them. It found, matched 99 records. We begin the RME. And we're going to say that we have these all in mint never hinged very fine. It pre-fills the quantity. We'll call this location, although this is optional, we could call it uh, volume 2. And then we begin. And there we go. So if we run a quick report, there's the entries that we just made. So as you can see, that was relatively easy. Now let's assume that you wanted to track, uh, a, fa a family member wanted to track a separate portion of the collection. This could be, uh, you know, in a, a totally different location. It doesn't really matter. All we need to do is duplicate the existing Germany database. During the duplication, we can also copy the inventory records. This is useful if you purchase two of every stamp, one for you and one for a lucky family member, but you simply have to check the box to copy the inventory as well. For this demo, though, we will not. So let's go ahead and duplicate the Germany database. And we will call this Germany and we'll let's pretend this is a used collection and I'm not going to copy the already supplied inventory or the co inventory data we'll just the supplied data so we'll duplicate it so the system has now created a second copy of the Germany and we will open that file and there is our second copy and this will be a fresh database. If we try and run a report, you'll see that there's nothing in it. Okay, so now we've duplicated the country. We can add some new records to this file. Let's, uh, let's enter Scott number 2000 to 2100 in this file. So we'll do another rapid entry. This time I'll change that to 2000 to 2100. and this time we'll say they're all used very fine and this time they're in volume 3 and we begin and if we run a quick report now we'll see that those entries are there and we can turn the images on just to make sure and they are okay now that we have two collections, we can merge the files into one. This would replicate the scenario above where two different members of the family were inventorying separate parts of the Germany collection and now want to merge everything into one file for estate or insur insurance purposes. Let me show you how we would do this. So we would go to Country File Utilities and we want to merge countries. Oops, I have to close the database first. So we select the source. This is the file that we want to take data from and merge into the other country. So let's merge the data from the used collection. And we're going to put it into the Germany collection. And then all we have to do is begin. Now the system is copying all the records from the one file to the other. And if we now open up the Germany file and we run a report, you'll see that we have the original 1000 to 1100. 
And then we have the other records that were inventoried by the other family member. As you can see, there is much flexibility built into the program to allow you to do what you need and fairly easily. We hope you've enjoyed this video and we want to wish everyone a very happy holidays for all. Take care.